Well, we're at the end of uh, week one of the election campaign and uh, Eliza and I have spent the week with Bill Shorten's camp, much of that up in North Queensland, but now we're in uh, cooler climes here in Sydney and uh, Eliza, it's been a pretty quiet week, hasn't it? It has been very unusual compared to the 2013 campaign uh, where Kevin Rudd and Tony Abbott raced us around the country at a frenetic pace. I, I think it's fair to say I was expecting this to be a lot more taxing for us as journalists. But on the announcement front, there have been uh, very little, there's been little, very little new money announced on this campaign. I think the two, two leaders are definitely treating this as the marathon it is, not a sprint. Because we do have another seven weeks to go after this. If they were to go too hard too soon, then there's a risk that the, the public just aren't going to be interested when we get to July 2, isn't it? And I feel like that's already happening. We went out in Townsville earlier this week and we spoke to a number of voters and we actually had people asking us when the election was. Oh, we're in an election campaign, are we? They've, they were very far from making up their minds about who they were voting for. So I think you're right. I think the, the, the two leaders are very conscious of the fact that uh, people are probably not listening to them. And uh, once they do get their attention, it's going to be hard to hold it for the duration of this very long campaign. And I guess uh, we're down here on the shores of uh, Sydney Harbour and uh, Bill Shorten's going to go for his morning run along here uh, a little bit uh, in just a few moments' time. And uh, I guess that kind of indicative, you've got to keep fit and got to be, uh, have the, the, the stamina to make this entire eight-week campaign. I haven't been running as far as Bill Shorten on this campaign, but the morning I haven't been you, running at all. The mornings so you've been doing uh, the crosses for us, uh, <laughs> I've been able to get out and have a bit of a jog. And look, it's important because it does focus your mind. It helps, you know, clarify your thoughts. And I think it's very wise of Bill Shorten to be doing that every morning during this very punishing uh, long campaign we're in. Well, uh, Eliza and I are soon to leave the Bill Shorten campaign. We'll be re replaced next week by some of our colleagues. Stay tuned to the ABC News Politics Live blog for all the latest.